Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can stabilize your performance when using the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild on Seamu Emulator. The emulator version I am using in this video is 1.11.1, although this fix should work on all future and previous versions of CMU that support FPS++. Now this fix kind of came to me when I was just messing around with CMU, trying to get slightly more stable FPS on my current system. What was happening to me on my PC was I would be sitting in and around 40 or 45 FPS and for no reason, even when I was standing still and not particularly looking at anything, even looking at the sky or looking at the ground where not much is rendered in, it would just start dropping frames for no reason. Now for anyone that has used my BSOD version of FPS++, you may have noticed that in the rules.txt of that select file, you can change the VSync frequency to match whatever your display's refresh rate is. I was currently running it at 60 FPS and I think this is actually the cause of why I was getting these FPS drops. What I ended up doing was going into this rules.txt file and changing this VSync frequency to 144, which is the refresh rate of my current monitor. Now doing this step alone, even though it did slightly help my performance, it also kind of hurt other parts of the game, like if you go into your menu everything is kind of sped up to twice the speed and sometimes in shrines physics kind of bug out and don't work exactly as intended in game. Now to solve this what I tried to do was I tried to enforce a 60 FPS lock on my game using RevaTuner statistics server. Once I had done this, I expected it to return to pretty much exactly how it was before when I had my VSync frequency set to 60. However, to my surprise, it actually didn't. It didn't go back to the weird buggy FPS drops that I was seeing previously when using the VSync frequency of 60. Now this isn't to say that this is going to improve your performance in any way or form, but if you are also seeing these weird FPS drops and stability issues like I was, it may help you iron out some of those problems. Now before I do anything else, I'm just going to show you exactly what I did. I'm going to go to my desktop and I'm going to go through this step by step. Okay, so basically you're going to want this BSOD FPS++, open up CMU 1.11.1, graphics packs and you're going to want to drag and drop this folder right here. Open up this FPS++, come to rules.txt and you should see that this vsync frequency is at 60. You basically want to change this to a higher value, I'm just going to use 144. You can though if you want to use 120 or any other value. I'm just going to change mine to 144. Once done, click file, save and close this application. The next thing you're going to want to do is install RevaTuner Statistics Server if you don't already have it. I'm going to open up mine right here. What you want to do is, you want to add CMU EXE as an application here. To do so, all you need to do is click this add button, select your CMU EXE, and click open. This has now added CMU Emulator as a usable application in RevaTuner Statistics Server. All you need to do now is apply a 60 FPS frame limit and you are done. You can copy my settings here if you want, although most of them do not apply to this frame lock. Minimize RevaTuner statistics server and you are now ready to launch CMU Emulator. So there you go guys, that's the stability fix that I wanted to show you guys in this video. Hopefully it works as well for you as it does for me. As always guys, cheers for checking out the video, remember to like it if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't, and subscribe to the channel if you want to see all future videos from me.